Yahweh and Jehovah are false creator gods who've appointed themselves as creator here on earth. Now, the word Yahweh comes from the father Anu, A-N-U. That's the same as a self-appointed Yahweh. And I'm not condemning anyone because I have those words tatted. It was a phase in my life, but I started to realize the truth. And Jehovah is an entity, a cloned brother, if you want to call it, of Anu, Yahweh, Enlil, and Enki. And I was shown this in a vision where I was shown how the Enki DNA overlay on human beings has gone into this religious programming, violent religions. And so it all started when they literally self-appointed themselves. And the first record of this is in Bedouin tribes in 1391 BC, written about by Amenhotep III, and this pervaded into humanity. Now, how do they do this? Well, they have a lot of grid points, right, where they're channeling in reverse metatronic frequencies which are broadcasting like a Wi-Fi network this religious programming and they've done this generation over generation over generation and if they take over the planetary grid or the planetary mind they start spreading through the planetary grids now they also do this by oftentimes incarnating a false father archetype which they appoint as prophets and this false father patriarchal system which has infiltrated into the religious political environment. Therefore, people call for God, Father God, when God is not even a male. God is the energetic infrastructure that runs through all things and all people. Now, Jewish mysticism known as the Kabbalah, they actually reverse engineered the true knowledge of the, the true tree of life, which is 12 spheres, and they changed it to a 10 sphere system, which consumes energy right, to create energy, and they're siphoning this energy from humanity when people are worshiping Yahweh, worshiping Jehovah, right, and they have fear or anxiety based on the religious mind control programming that they have to do all of these rituals, and if they don't do all of these rituals, they're going to burn in hell forever, so they actually siphon this fear, siphon this anxiety, siphon this energy, and they have elaborate energy suck systems that are set up which are very intricate, which channel all of that energy back to the entity to feed them so that they can remain immortal. Now, this energy is actually siphoned into the Yahweh matrix, which is written about actually in a, to a black hole in Revelation chapter 9, verse 11, because this black hole system that is located in the center of our Milky Way galaxy is, is called Abaddon. A-B-A-D-D-O-N, as referenced in Revelation chapter 9, verse 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, the black hole, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue is named Apollyon. So this is written about, and they've installed this Armageddon fear, end of the time, artificial timelines to keep humanity in a fear cycle so that they're feeding off of this well there is good news and the good news is i'm starting to meet gatekeepers timekeepers christic pure mission aligned brothers and sisters who are now starting to uh, the artificial timeline is collapsing and there are organic ascension timelines that are now being brought back into humanity and the key is frequency as long as we keep our attention, which is our currency, on emotions and uh, images that are based on peace, love, transparency, respect, unity, equality, holarchy, our frequency will remain in these organic ascension timelines. And we will be able to enter into new earth systems that are decentralized. And so the key lies with frequency and we are now creating new organic ascension timelines and the truth will set you free. And the truth is that you are who you've been looking for, sources within you, for you, all around you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? You don't need to give your worship to a middleman between you and God. And shout out to Lisa Renee for her amazing work and for transcribing this information through on Ascension Glossary. Love, light, peace, and truth to all sentient beings.